Welcome back YouTube, it's me the cool loser. Today's video is going to be on the top 10 best apps this week, number 369, using the LG G6. As always, for the best live wallpaper of the week, you're looking at it, it's called Spurly. You can see there's quite a few to choose from, let's click on that. We can see what it's going to look like, set the theme, and that's the background. Now it's not moving, but it, it will move once you move your wallpaper, just like that. So it does have a really cool, fancy look to it. I like that you can preview it before. A lot more there, but you can tell that this is my favorite one. It looks awesome, and it does have the gesture based as well. Number two, taskbar. If you take a look on the left side, there's a little arrow. If I tap on it, it's going to launch recent applications. Instead of having to go through here and go through all your recents that way, you can literally have this always waiting so you can go right into where you want to go. So if I'm in Twitter reading something or on YouTube app, and you can see that I'm not leaving my page. I can keep watching everything until I go next to the other place. But that's not it. Tapping on it, you can see that there's an app launcher. I could search through here without having to leave the background. You see that it's still searchable. Definitely something for the people who want to have shortcuts to make less clicking. This is going to be the one for you. Number three, screenshot assistant. What this does, if you hold home button, it'll take a screenshot rather than having to do the power and volume down or however your power and home button. You can customize it real quickly of what you want to see you can drag it up and bigger make it smaller download it or share it and once you're ready it crops it to exactly how you wanted the picture to be and that is it but what it is doing is replacing your home assistant like so press home the google assistant is popping up right here and the home button it's going to be a screenshot instead. If you're not using Google Home Assistant or any of those voice activations, then this might be a good replacement. Number four, nav bar apps. If they didn't annoy you or if you didn't notice there's emojis underneath my navigation bar, change the emoji spaces, change them completely to pick a different emoji. Maybe you want the poop one. So you're doing all the emojis that you want. And all you have to do is check this on and it goes away or off. You see the comeback. And also if you're listening to music, it'll also bounce around. If you want to see your battery percentage, that is my battery bar right there. Show a picture, you can customize it. You can see other ones. Super Mario, that's cool. Different patterns and then of course you can set other ones. So it does change around for the static color. Let's jump into Twitter. And you can see now it turns blue. Let's see why you are... Uh, there we go, now it's red. So there's quite a bit for you to mess around with it. Number five, full battery and alarm. If you're a person who plugs in your phone to charge, most likely everybody, just like this, I'm gonna get a notification like this being brought up, charge alert, so whenever I get my phone fully charged with a notification tone letting me know, stop using electricity, don't overcharge the phone, but unplug alert. Now this is another feature. Now I can leave it, my friends are gonna mess around with it and they're gonna you know, take it off the charger because they wanna plug in their phone and they unplug it well you're gonna get an alarm letting you know and let's plug it back in it's not gonna make any difference so you're gonna catch the person unplugging your phone and then it has a password that you have to input well wow, I just realized that I was talking through the annoying beeping I'm sorry <laughs> there's more settings in here you can change and tweak of what percentage you want it to get to it's pretty cool you can change the ringtone number six direct chat now what this application does, it lets you configure any application, yes, any apps, whatever it is that has a notification that you can reply, this will allow you to use it as chat heads. Okay, and my phone's just sitting there, right? And it's gonna come in, and then I have the chat head bubble. Now this bubble I can put on the left side, on the right, but if I tap on it, it brings up the conversation if I had one. Obviously I'm just texting myself, so I don't really, but you can continue the message here and say, send the message you can see that so if you want to just get the chat head bubble you can disable the heads up display on your stock messenger and you can see that you can disable it if you get multiple notifications they'll all be kind of grouped together you can see them kind of side by side it works very well number seven jolt this is a alarm replacement application i'm going to put it as 531 press the check mark how long i have until it goes off 28 seconds i'm sleeping let's turn the phone off we'll put it in sleep mode and you get woken up by an EDM music, so you get a random track. You get woken up to music instead of a annoying alarm. You can dismiss it, and it, or you can click on the link if you like the song, it'll go right to it. Snooze it, of course. Something different to mess around with. I know you can set your own songs as 
alarm tones, but if you wanted to switch it up on its own, something random, you might like it. Number eight, Moonrise Icons. In case you were wondering, my icon pack, this is the Moonrise, as you can see, it looks pretty cool. It themes out a lot of my icons, so I don't have to change anything, but you can choose your own. Over 922 themed icons. If you click into the icons, these are the latest updates, and here is the Google application replacements that you can use, and there's the system applications, calendar and then go to folders alternatives i mean it's gonna keep going and going and going and going you get the idea change it on nova if you're using nova launcher that's my favorite launcher everyone should be on it if you like to customize it and you're gonna get all 900 of them in here which is pretty cool number nine shabam so what this application does it finds gifs i almost said gifs but I... gifs and this is my favorite one that I messed with. So you can see where's the pizza, tap on it. There's no sound, obviously. GIFs don't have sound. So check this out, I'm gonna do this. Woo! Where's the pizza? So you see, you can add your own voices to the GIFs. It sends them as video once you're ready to send. Obviously, this is trending, whatever they want to show you. And then categories, if you want something specific, like reactions, you can get the reactions through here. So you can save it to your device or send it to any of your social networks. But I found it to be really fun and entertaining. Definitely go try it out for yourself. Wow. And number 10, we have Yazzy. This application allows you to spoof and prank your friends. So if you go into Instagram, this is a popular site. What you can do is click on the photo and then go to your recent, click on a picture. We'll crop that. Click on the Yazzy. You can change the name and say PewDiePie. Kuluzer is my favorite YouTuber. Press save. Kuluzer is my favorite YouTuber. This is the person supposedly liking. We got Casey Neistat. Says you're my favorite too. You can see Casey Neistat liked it. Of course, you want to go into the picture and add PewDiePie's. Click on that to remove that. Screenshot this or share this and say, oh, look, PewDiePie, Casey Nice that liked my stuff or whatever. It's just a prank. It's just a prank, bro. Instagram, you can do it with the Facebook status. Basically, the popular ones that people are using today. But definitely go spoof your friends if you want to try it out. And there you guys have it. These are the top 10 best apps this week. Number 369 on the LG G6. I'm going to be using this full time again for the next week. Nothing is wrong with the Galaxy S8. It's just that um, I just want to switch it up a little bit. I do miss the G6. Other than that, it's still a good phone. I'd rather have a flat surface of a screen. And then I am still going to be bringing some iPhone apps as well. It's a little bit more procrastinated. If those of you guys have been waiting for me to do iOS apps, they will be coming as well. Alrighty, that's it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Later.